Jeff A says, how can you link to a folder on OneDrive in a team instead of uploading files to a team? So, and, and this, I think this is what is this is, is there something more complex behind this or is it as simple as I think it is? I feel like it's as simple as you think. Anybody disagree? Uh, not yeah, necessarily. I, mean, I, I think the question is partially based in perhaps not knowing that OneDrive and Teams are both implemented by SharePoint for file storage and whatnot. Um, so, you know, what you can link to in SharePoint, you can link to in Teams and by extension. Um, uh, yeah. I could throw this behind the, uh, uh, you know, it depends and what are you trying to do? I guess, are you trying to uh, have the, in the file uh, um, section on in, within a team, just have spe that specific folder there without having to upload a bunch of content? Cause you can, you know, link to another source, including OneDrive. But the most common way that I see people doing this is going and grabbing the sharing link from OneDrive and add as a tab um, and just add that link to that folder. Yeah. The other thing that you can do is if you create a page, you can create a link to anything. So you could literally create a SharePoint page with various links and those links can be to OneDrive folders and you just add quick links on that page and you copy and paste the URL. They click on the page and there's all the links, whether they're in OneDrive or in SharePoint or where they're at. There you go. A link's a link. Link's a link. A link's a link. True indeed. Yeah, I know that there are some articles out, out there on the, this is a great example of some things that have changed around it a little bit um, as, as more functionality is added, but there are different strategies for linking to other existing content sources besides the automatic libraries that are created with the creation of a new team. So you can go in and there are third-party apps. So if you have content that's in Dropbox or Box or Ignite or any other you know, OneDrive competitor solution out there or, or, or G Drive or whatever it is. Um, so that's one way you can have a direct link to those sources, those folder systems, but OneDrive can work the same way as an external data source. Um, or as I, you know, we said right at the beginning of this is you could add a tab and mm -hmm. have a direct link. You can sure. also, I mean, anything that you copy a link, so you can create a page, you can do the tab at the top, but you can also just post the link inside of the post, which would take you there too. Right. Fair point. Yeah. And tag it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tag it and bag it. Tag it, tag it. Mm -hmm. You got it. It's the same thing with files too. If it's just not the whole folder and you just want to share a file from your OneDrive, yeah. same thing. It's just, yeah. I will do that with OneDrive all the time where I say, look, this for this constituency, I, I could go and figure out all the stuff. It's like, or I just, I know the three people I want to share this with. I drop them in a folder. It's secure. I limit the time frame for that. They could get to it and yep. send them the sharing link from that. I can add that into a team and only the people, the named people would be able to get into it. I can control it that way. I can make it available to everybody within that team. So anybody who has the link, they could, they could read it, but add it to a tab. So, but I have the, more control over those digital you're just showboating now christian yeah, <laughs> yeah. so hashtag, I'm, the one I'm, yeah. Flex. <laughs> hashtag I'm just saying yes <laughs> yeah, I, I use say. the, I'm flexing on you i use a lot of links to OneDrive folders and files when i'm using so i use a lot of shared channels now with the b2b connection and I will share things that way because I don't want them to have access long term. Hey, this is here for you so you can use it as a template and I want it to expire. I know I don't want it to work forever. So I don't want to download it into, you know, the files and folders because then it would live there a long time. Right. And I'm changing it or whatever. So I love to use the fact that I can use OneDrive set expirations. It does it automatically, period. And only certain people can get to it.